I was just uh, thinking that like both uh, in Christianity and Judaism and Islam, like God is like omniscient, right? He's like a giant pan tilt zoom camera in the sky. So I was just thinking like whether like the way public reacts to uh, CCTV surveillance, whether it has anything to do with their religiosity. I mean, since you have been to Manchester and in Jerusalem, did you either noticed if anything, it just came to my mind whether like uh, people have different kind of reactions to CCTV depending on their worldview, their religious worldview. How many times have you heard that a filmmaker is God yeah. because he can do all these things with his, yeah. his gaze and his mm -hmm. camera? It's, I mean, like, therein lies the problem, right? We mm -hmm. need to interrogate how we make films and documentaries. It's a power. It's a, it's a, it's, kind of, uh, no, I'm yeah, asking I'm just, the I'm just spinning it, saying... Uh, the, yeah. It's like... It's like, like my thing is like, somebody might say, okay, so God is already looking at us, so what is there, I mean, what's there to two more cameras? But again, it's like, uh, not by God, it's by some other human authority. So, it's the thing, whether people think about, like, try to connect these things, like, because you've met so many people of different yeah. religion and whether they have. Because uh, the reaction to surveillance was very clearly negative in the Manchester film. And then again, I mean, their worldview is not just informed by Christianity. I mean, they are all like very educated people, and they have uh, they have a very informed and different kind of worldview. So, I mean, I guess it's a question of ethics, right? I won't steal because yes, God is watching me, but no man. These thirty-seven cameras as I walk my neighborhood is 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 the state, and there is a difference there. And I don't think the two can be equated in any of the cultures. I mean, I can't speak for individuals or cultures at large, but it's different. You're God and you have a, uh, he's, he's, he or she is watching you in a very different way and the, the cameras. I'm not, I'm not trying to support it from a religious point of view. I'm yeah. just curious. No, that the acceptance of it. I'm just saying there, maybe there is a difference, right? I mean, if, uh, uh, why am I being watched? Because I have my conscience and I don't. I think the, it was whether this, um, the all-seeing eye in that sense can be compared. It's an interesting question. I, I can't, I don't have a good example of a, direct opinion. It was more, much more subtle probably. Whether this kind of rotating like, like camera is a kind of godlike thing or, or not because in a way the, the godlike it was much more sophisticated or something. Yeah. The relationship was imagined as a direct pipeline between you and you know. It's like a private channel. Right, private channel mm -hmm. in a way. The Manchester film did you did you have a look at which company cameras were being bought maximum in in surveillance and did you find any commonality in the nations which are manufacturing these cameras with the view that the that the instability and the chaos and crime is probably being instigated by the companies to sell their cameras if you know what i mean this is being manipulated have you looked at it from this angle? Obviously, in certain other contexts, I mean, the obvious relationship would, would be, say, with the Mumbai attacks or something like that. So there, what happens is completely, it flips around in a very dramatic way. So there, CCTV becomes the projection device, the broadcast system for terror terrorists, right? Yeah. Clearly. And that, that happens often with terror. That it's uh, the drastic enough movement is that, okay, we are here, and we want to proclaim our presence in a certain way. So the images on the terrorists and the, the fear that's spread through television depends on the CCTV system catching, catching those terrorists. So it's not only a matter of the CCTV cameras, but the whole set of, I guess, infrastructures that are kind of related to each other, right, in that sense. Because CCTV is also about the, under different conditions, it behaves differently, I guess, what, what I was trying to say. But Manchester, in about the mid-90s, um, and this is the second part of the project, which we didn't show here, the second part of the CCTV social happened in the Arndale Mall, which in, in 2008, when we did the project, was the largest mall in Europe. And the Arndale Mall is in the city center of Manchester. Uh, it was also historically the site of the largest IRA bombing on UK soil. They bombed the mall, which was the Elko Market, before the fancy Reliance Mall came up. So when they bombed the Arndale Mall in 1996, this became historically the time when UK's, I mean, we all know about UK's regeneration of cities, right, and thereby the gentrification. Manchester was the trial city. 
they said, this dark cloud has a silver lining, the bombing. We will rebuild the mall. We will redesign the city center. This was one of the first cities where extensive CCTV was put into place. This is where the industrial heart of the city was completely made a commercial shopping mall central protected by banks and businesses, as they say. So there is this link in, in uh, uh, re I mean, this regeneration of cities and, and, and CCTV being used. And I think on a meta level, there is the other link of who does the best R&D in surveillance technologies beyond imaging. You're talking about drones, and you're talking about iris scans, and you're talking about facial recognition. It's Israel. And Israel and India have really perverse connections with each other as well. When we went to Jerusalem, we had half a mind of say, because I remember when I was in Jerusalem for the research part, Bombay's police were there because uh, uh, our attacks had happened and they were getting training. Bombay's police chief and some special corps was there um, getting training by the Israeli intelligence. IDF and RAW have been bedfellows for forever. So yes, at, 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 there is uh, that link as well in terms of bigger systems.